The future. Is it predetermined? Or is it open to possibilities? How much of it can be predicted? Predicting the future isn't a simple task of connecting the dots in a straight line, especially when it comes to our planet, a complex system where countless factors interact in intricate ways. One action can set off a chain of events that are far from linear. So what happens when we apply this thinking to the impact of human activity on our planet? Borrowing a theory from a completely different field, scientists have uncovered a potential tipping point in our climate, a point where the climate goes into chaos. But what does this tipping point look like? And how close are we to reaching it? Could we enter a hothouse Earth scenario, a state from which there is no turning back? This is New Nature, and in this video we're exploring the theory of two scientific papers that sound a wake-up call to the world. Let's start with a simple analogy. Imagine Earth as a car driving along a road. For a long time, this car, our Earth, has been running at a steady, comfortable temperature. This is like the Holocene epoch, a period of relative climate stability that has lasted for about 11,700 years. But now, human activities like burning fossil fuels, deforestation and farming are the equivalent of stepping on the gas pedal. This is causing the car's temperature to rise, and we're starting to see warning lights on the dashboard. These are the extreme weather events and other signs of climate change. So what does the future hold for our car, the Earth? To answer this, scientists are using a tool called a logistic map. One possibility is that we might be able to keep driving the car faster and at a higher temperature. It won't be as comfortable as before, and it might cause problems for some passengers, but it will be manageable. Sounds plausible, right? This is what most people assume will happen. But there's also a more dangerous and equally likely outcome. If we keep stepping on the gas, the car might overheat to the point where it starts behaving unpredictably. Scientists call this chaotic behavior, a state where the Earth's climate becomes so unstable that we can't predict or control it. But let's rewind a bit. To better understand chaotic behavior, we need to dive deeper into the concept of a logistic map. Imagine a dripping faucet. At first, the faucet drips at a steady, predictable rate. This is like the early stages of the logistic map, where the flow or growth is steady and predictable. Now, suppose you slightly adjust the tap. The dripping becomes less regular. Sometimes the drops are quick, sometimes they're slow. This is like the bifurcation in the logistic map, where the dripping starts to oscillate between two values. Turn the tap a bit more, and the dripping becomes even more erratic. This is like further bifurcations in the logistic map, where the population oscillates between four values, then eight, then 16, and so on. Finally, with one last turn of the tap, the water is flowing freely and unpredictably. It's no longer a drip, but a stream, and you can't predict its flow at all. This is like the chaos in the logistic map, where the dripping become completely unpredictable. When scientists say that human impact follows a logistic map, they're saying that after a certain point, the effects of our actions on the Earth's climate can be unpredictable and potentially chaotic, like the dripping of a faucet with a high flow rate, when the dripping can no longer be predicted. So, how close are we to this climate chaos? The authors of the paper think we could start seeing these runaway changes with global warming as low as 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. But they admit, there's a lot of uncertainty in that number. They believe we can still avoid this 2 degrees danger zone if we all band together and seriously dial back on our climate warming actions. That's going to mean big changes. There's a lot we still don't know and more research is needed to figure out how big a risk this hothouse earth scenario really is. So what's the bottom line? Our actions today have a huge impact on our planet's future. If we don't take the foot off the pedal soon, we could end up in a chaotic world that's hard to predict. We still have a chance to steer this story towards a happier ending. The future is still ours to shape. Maybe it's time we thought about swapping the car for a bike anyway. One thing we know for certain though, Earth is our home, our garden, 
It's the place where we grow our food, raise our kids, and live our lives. It gives us everything we need, air to breathe, water to drink, land to live on. And in this vast, hostile universe, it's our shared rock, floating through space. So let's take care of it, because when we look after our planet, we're looking after our global family, ensuring a safe and beautiful home for us all, now and in the future. Support me on Patreon and let's make science accessible, enjoyable, and awe-inspiring for everyone. And if you thought this was interesting, please consider subscribing. I'm just getting started 